Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi and today we are going to solve a question on central limit theorem. So basically in the last video I have told that what is central limit theorem. So let me quickly open that thing. So this was the thing which we were just uh, like discussing and this was the statement for central limit theorem for sample mean says that if you keep drawing larger and larger samples and calculating their mean, the sample mean forms their own normal distribution. So this was the statement which we have seen for the central limit theorem of sample mean okay as i told that it has the uh, two like it has two types central limit theorem for sample mean and even for sums also right so this was the thing and now let me just go to that question fine so today we are just going to see a question in that we are just going to solve the things and here this is my question okay so what is my question saying to me the question says that an unknown distribution has a mean of 90 and a standard deviation of 50 Samples of size n is equal to 25 and drawn randomly from the population. Okay, find the probability that the sample mean is between 85 and 92. Fine. So this is a very simple question that like we we are seeing this question from the very starting. Like we are just seeing these types of questions from the very starting of this statistics video series. Fine. Okay, let's let's do that thing. So let's understand the question one more time in a little detailed way. Fine. So now what I am given with here with the questions. So first of all, uh, before that, let me just try and see one thing that can I do that thing. Hold on for a second, guys. Let me just, okay, let me go back side. And this is my home. And let me just try out some things here. Okay, no, I, I don't think that I can basically do anything. This right? Fine. Then let's move on with the things here. Okay, so it is saying that an unknown distribution has a mean of 90. So it is given that the value for the mean is 90, right? And the standard deviation of some 50. So even I'm get, given that the value for the standard deviation is 15. Fine, so this is also done. Now what else I have? Samples of size n is equal to 25. I have the value for n and that is 25. This is also done. And drawn randomly from the population. Fine. Problem 1 says that find the probability that the sample mean is between 85 and 92. So firstly what I need to find is that I need to find that the sample, uh, sample mean is between 85 and 92. So here I will just first solve the problem one and then we will quickly move towards the problem number two. Fine. So here what first I would do, I would just take a variable x. Okay, so I would just write let x is equal to one value from the one value from the original one value from the original unknown population. Let x is equal to one value from the original unknown population. Fine. So, okay, this is done. Now, what else I have? I would just write that, uh, like, uh, here it is asking me to find the probability, right? So, the probability question asks you to find the probability for the sample mean, right? So, what is my question asking from me? So, the, my, pro like, probability question is asking me to find the probability. I would just write here, okay? Find the probability. Now, here I'm just using a little bit of short form, right? Find, uh, so find the probability for the sample mean for the sample mean fine so this is like what my question is asking from me next what i have i would just take another variable also that is x bar fine let x bar is equal to the mean of the sample the mean of sample of Size is equal to 25. Okay, size is 25, right? And I even I have the, some other values, right? Since uh, we mu x, we have the value for mu x is equal to 90. Then what I have, I have the value for sigma x is equal to 15. And even I have the value for n is equal to 25, right? So these are the values which I am having. So now what I would do, so I would just write these values in a like uh, proper manner because these are the main uh, values for my question right so i will just write here size okay so sample of size okay so i would just write here as sample size is equal to 25 and i would just put uh, one like comma here i would just write here the value for me x which i am given is 90 i would go down even I have the value for, uh, here I would just write the value for sigma x, whatever I have, that is uh, 15. And the value for n, which I have, that is 25. Okay, so the, I have these four parameters, these four values with me in this question. 
Now, from this question, what, what formula can I use? So, basically, in the previous video, that is for the central limit theorem, I just told you one thing here, right? This, this thing. X bar is approximately equal to n in bracket mu x comma sigma x upon root n. So, do I have all of these values here? Yes, I have all these values here. So, from uh, like putting all of these values in this formula, what I can just do? Compute from the set of this right x bar is approximately equal to capital N. What was the thing which we were like having there? So let me just open that thing once more here. That was mu x comma sigma x upon root N. Fine. So that was mu x comma sigma x upon under root of N. So I can I just put the values? Yeah, I can do that because I am having all of the values here. So I would just put a equal to sign here. So I would just like... Um, Okay, I would just take this thing down. Okay, so right. So I would just write here as x bar approximately equal to n. The value for mu h, what's the value? For the mu h, we are having the value as 90 for sigma 15 and 25. 90, comma 16 divided by under root of 25. Right, so this is the like uh, values which I am having. Uh, so it's that it's at 16. Okay, no, it's not 16. It's basically 15. I'm sorry for my mistake. Let me just go down. Let's let let, let me just quickly rub that thing. So here at my okay, where is my cursor? Fine. So I would just like run that thing and one thing more. I would just okay. So it's 50. So uh, x bar uh, is approximately equal to n in bracket I have 90 comma 15 upon under root of 25. Now what I need to find is here that I need to find the probability of it like um, my x bar. The value for my x bar is basically greater than 85 and the value of like is this x bar is less than 92. I need to find this probability right. So what's the problem in finding this probability right because I have already discussed this thing in my question series which I was taking for you all in that I have just done this problem I guess in each and every video for approximate eight like four to five videos I have just done this thing repeatedly so now I am not going to do this thing today fine so what you need to do is that if you just have any doubt in finding the probability for this thing you just go and have a watch over that video fine so I will just directly write the answer here and you can just tell your answers after finding so that is uh, 0.6997 so that is the final answer for finding the probability that it is uh, like basically the value for x bar is less than uh, sorry is greater than 85 and the value for x bar is less than 92. Fine. So this is the final answer which I just got here. I would just highlight that thing also. So I hope by the time you all have just like paused the video for a while and just find out the probability or not just copying whatever I'm just writing here. Fine. So you all must have done that thing. Let me go down here above right. So this was my first question which I have just solved right now. Let me quickly explain this thing one, once more. So what was my problem one asking? It was find, asking me to find the probability that sample mean is between 85 and 92. So I did the same thing. Firstly what I did, I just take a variable that is x. So I just wrote let x is equal to one value from the original unknown population. Fine. What I need to do is that here I just find the probability for the sample mean. Yeah, I have done, I find, uh, like, what was my question asking? My question was asking me to find the probability for the sample mean. Yeah, I done that thing. What next I have done, I have just taken x bar. Now, x bar is one of my, like, um, variable. That is the mean of sample size. And that was given me as 25. I was having the value of mu is, that is 90. I was having the value of sigma is, that is 15. And even I was having the value for n, that is 25. Now, what all these parameters mean? And basically, what are the... Like, uh, what do we like uh, mean by the symbols mu, sigma, and what are these things denoting? So, for that, I have covered this thing in the previous video itself where I have just told all the theoretical things about the central limit theorem. So, if you just want to have an idea about, over this, you can just go and watch that video. So, I was just having all of these values that were sample size of 25, mu x was 90, sigma x was 15, and n was 25. So this was a formula which I have basically seen in my previous central limit theorem video. So we have just like applied, I have just applied this formula because I was having all of the values which is in this formula, right? I was having the value for mu x, I was having the value for sigma, I, even I was having the value for under root of n. So I just applied all of the values, the mu x was having the value as 90, sigma 1 x was having the value as 15, and even under root n was having the value as 25. So I just applied that, I found the probability, and this is the final answer from the probability. That is 
0.6997. Fine, so this is my problem one solved here. Now moving towards the problem two quickly. So my problem number two says to me that find the value that is two standard deviations above this is like above the expected sample mean. Okay, so I need to find a value that is two standard deviations above the expected sample mean. Fine, so this is an interesting question and here you will just get to know and get to learn a new formula also. Fine, I will just write here as problem. Well, let me go down even. And let, let's quickly solve that question. And yeah, one more one more thing in the previous this problem number one. If I just want to plot a graph for this, how will I do that? That is like very simple. So let me quickly draw that graph also for you here. I would just like take uh, I, I would just not need this thing. I would just needing a straight line. Fine. Because that is a normal distribution, right? So you all know that though like you know that basically how we just draw a normal distribution. So let me just take the pen here. I would just take as red. And yeah so basically this is how we just draw a normal distribution right so i would just like take it as 85 i would take it as 90 so it is 85 it is 95 in middle somewhat i have 90 so this is x bar and what is this this is the probability that x bar is less than uh, sorry greater than 85 and less than 95 so what i i just wanted to find i just wanted to find this middle value right that is like just present here this one so just let me highlight that thing also so you can just get an idea that what i just needed to find so i just need wanted to find this value that is the probability that um, x bar is greater than 85 and less than 95 so we have just found found the value and it was something what 0 0.699 something what like right 0 0.6997 fine now let me quickly solve the problem number two here itself i will just take the pin okay now my problem number two was asking me to find a value that is two standard deviations above right so what i would just do here i would just take a variable value fine right? and now here you can just have a one more formula and that formula is mu x plus now this is the like uh, this hash of standard deviation so this basically means the number of standard deviation which we just want to like write here so i would just write it as two because we want two above right and uh, I would just put the formula and this is in multiplication with this one. So I'm just writing it down. So it is, okay, just let me erase this thing. So sigma x upon under root of n. Fine, so this is the formula which I would be just applying here, finding that value. So I would just put the values here itself. So I would just write here, value is equal to mu x value I'm having as 90. This uh, hash of sigma is standard deviation, so I'm having 2. Sigma x I was having as 15 and under root and n I was having the value as 25. Now you can just calculate this thing on your own and you are going to get the answer as 96. So from here what can I just say? Fine. From here what I can just write is that so the value so the value um, that is that is two standard deviation so the value that is two standard deviations above expected value above expected value is 96 so from here what can i conclude so the value that is two standard deviations above expected above expected value is 96 so this was my question that was asking to me right that i find the value that is two standard deviations above the expected sample mean right so here we are just completed one question on the central limit theorem that basically how we are just going to apply the formulas in the central limit theorem question so this was how you can just find out the values you can just find out the questions fine now basically in the next video we are just going to take the second second one that is central limit theorem for sums okay so this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye